I use leaf mould in the garden as an alternative to peat. Leaf, leaf mould is a free resource. A lot of gardeners have problems uh, with autumn leaves falling on the lawn or on their driveways or on their um, nearby roads and they have to sweep them up and they don't know what to do with them. Sometimes they send them to landfill or the incinerator or, or just they just don't know what to do with them. But if you bag them up and put them in a refuse sack, do the puncture a few holes in it, make sure the leaves are wet with a bit of rainwater uh, and leave them for one, two, three years or put them in a leaf mould enclosure which should be typically a bit of wire netting to hold them all together, stop them blowing around. Then over a, the course of two or three years they'll rot down very slowly to make a peat like material. You can speed things up a little bit by putting the autumn leaves on your lawn if you have one and mowing them with the lawn mower and then this this can then be sucked up into the lawn mower collection into the the mowings collection collector and uh, they'll rot down a little bit faster since you shredded them up uh, but it isn't necessary to use that uh, extra energy because time will do the same thing and shred them up with fungi and worms and other organisms in the leaf mold pile uh, and this means you don't have to use moss peat from peat bogs in your garden which is a very damaging thing and if you're a gardener you want to look after the environment and if you're using peat you're damaging the environment okay this is how to collect leaves okay this is this is good one of the best places you can collect leaves is along the side of the road so here you can see that there's there's quite a lot it's quite a lot from this lovely tree in fact there's so much you can't even see the curb and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I collect those leaves the easy way That is how I pick up leaves. Well, hello. <laughs> this is my leaf mould container and I am just finishing off collecting last year's leaf mould. Let me show you. This, these are leaves that I collected in various different places uh, a year ago. You can see that there are still some leaves visible. Uh, but a lot of it is rotted down, it's got a few roots running through it as well. Um, so it's pre pretty good stuff, but there's still plenty of leaves. They're breaking down, but they are rotting away with fungi. So all I'm doing is I'm loading these up into uh, a reused rubbish bag. And I'm emptying this container for refilling in the next few weeks. So I'm just basically going through this. I'll move any any sticks and any rubbish. This is a pen top. This is a stick. Um, and I'll be filling that up and then putting it aside for another year. There we go. But this untidy area is where I keep my leaf mould from last year so uh, somewhere here there is a bag which will sh I'll show you how fantastic it is I think this is it so this is leaf mould after two or perhaps three years you can see it's broken down completely almost completely there's still one or two things in here I don't know what that is a piece of paper or something 
but basically this is a fantastic peat substitute it's fibrous it's fairly low in nutrients because it's made with autumn leaves you can riddle it to take out any pieces that you didn't want any bits of plastic or stones or things that have got in there but this is absolutely delicious stuff absolutely fantastic and I'm going to show you how I mix this into a potting media Hello. this is how I make potting compost I use this rotary sieve here you can see that it's got a sieve in the bottom and this bar that runs over the top of the sieve so what I'm going to use what I'm going to use is I'm making a John Innes style uh, potting compost I've got loam here here's a block of loam uh, with inevitable bits of plastic in it but this is loam that been thrown away from turf and uh, people throw away old turf when they're redoing their lawns and I'm happy to collect it and to get it reused so I use turf loam soil whatever you want to call it which is sandy and has minerals in it and breaking up a few of those lumps and removing yet more little bits of threads of plastic then I use lovely garden compost you can see this is not very old it's got bits of eggshell in it bits of stick a bit of eggshell that's not a problem uh, there are sticks uh, inevitable little bits of plastic <laughs> uh, and worms which obviously continuing to break it down so I put about equal amounts of compost and loam in and what I want really is I want a really fine grained material to plant my seeds in and one of the best things you can use is three year old leaf mould so this is two possibly three years old this is a peat replacement you can see how lovely it is and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put have equal amounts of leaf mould in as the other materials and then riddle that through and when I riddle that through it mixes it all up and I may have to still break up some of these lumps of soil because they've clumped together because they're a bit clay as well they've got quite a lot of mineral content uh, clay is really great for making clay soils are really great for growing in they're high nutrients that'll have come out of the leaf mould that's a ring pull I might save that for the metal recycling I do there's also some leaves that haven't decayed so they will go in the go back to compost area so there's a few roots here they go back in the compost and sticks and things that haven't composted down fully oh and a few stones there's always a few stones in there bits of gravel off people's drives and stuff like that but basically after a bit of a, uh, a riddle like that you get a lovely fine grained material which you can grow your plants in and that is a lovely mixture perfect mixture it's about equal loam compost rich compost and leaf mould which is low nutrient and very good for bulking and for holding on to moisture and for drainage as well it's quite fibrous so it lets things drain through some of the worms came through that no problem they'll just continue living in the mix they're not a problem and uh, so long as I get good crops I'm happy with this and I haven't had to buy anything apart from the, the sieve to make this so I'm happy with this, very, very happy. And so every year I harvest autumn leaves 
and then I put them aside and in a year I put them into bags and then one or two years after that I take them out and I put them through a riddle and I make a lovely lovely fine leaf mould which I use to replace peat in a, in a normal garden. Normal meaning old-fashioned or maybe leaf mould is old-fashioned I don't know but I do know that leaf mould is something that we ought to be doing more of. We don't need to throw leaves away we have plenty of leaves on the trees which all fall on the ground and we can sweep them up if we want to and we can use that resource on our land very very sustainably because every year we get a new crop of autumn leaves which are really really good for making potting compost or even just putting on your on your borders it doesn't really matter but we need to stop throwing this resource away and we need to stop using peat.